So during all this ongoing legal drama between Journey, um, you know, just a recap for those that might have missed, Neil Sean, Journey's founder, lead guitarist, constant member, sued Jonathan Kane, one of the other constant members. He's been in the band for 41 years. Um, he sued him over credit card records uh, for the business side of Journey. Kane clapped back and is, you know, it's turning into quite the dram dramatic situation. Um, it, you know, th this whole time I've kind of had the thought in my mind that, okay, Journey is, they're done. They have to be done. There's no way they're going to pull through this one. Journey is a band that has dealt with a lot of turmoil in their time. Uh, we've seen lots of lineup changes, and we've seen a lot of legal troubles, but the difference this time is that the legal troubles are between two members of the band currently and two of the most prominent members in the band's lineup. Um, <clears throat> you know, Kane and Neil also have pretty much 50-50 like, control of the band from what I've understood, so um, it's not good that they're fighting. Um, I felt like the band is finished. Neil Sean does not. Neil Sean has come out and said that the band is not done, that the band will continue at all costs, and that the band will, um, they will just, they will continue. They're not giving up. They're going to be touring, um, but he is making it seem like that we're going to be and a bit of a lineup change. Um, you see this art article from Ultimate Classic Rock. Um, <clears throat> Neil continues to guarantee that the band is not ending, but he's kind of floating lineup changes. And the big one, the specific one, that Neil actually called out on social media yesterday was Greg Raleigh, Journey founding vocalist and keyboardist. Um, Neil has specifically called for Greg Raleigh to join the band, um, at least for the 2023 tour. Now, Neil does not specify in the tweet um, whether or not this would replace Jonathan Cain. He legally probably cannot do so. But he has um, specifically called out in a post um, Greg Raleigh rejoining the band. Now... I love this idea. Greg Raleigh is a great fit for Journey. If you watch my History of Journey series, you know that I feel like that Greg Raleigh is a fantastic fit for this band. Now, you can't deny Jonathan Cain has done a lot for this band. He's a great songwriter, but um, Greg Raleigh is awesome. I think that he would be amazing in a modern lineup of Journey. I think that it would give them a better avenue to play really old songs, um, it's the 50th anniversary tour, so it would make sense. I suggested this in one of my earlier videos about the 50th anniversary tour. It makes sense for someone like Raleigh to come back. Um, I think Raleigh probably would be open to it, um, at least for this tour. It would not be a long-term arrangement. Greg Raleigh is 75 years old. He's a much older than Neil or Jonathan, so... You know, it's a bigger ask um, for him to have him go out on the road and tour as aggressively as Journey does. So I think it would be a one-time thing. Um, <clears throat> you know, the barrier in this is probably going to be Jonathan Cain. He does have a lot of control of the band. Him and Neil, as I said, they have, from what I've understood, they have half, you know, 50-50 control. So it would have to go through Jonathan Kane, And with the legal nonsense that has been going on, I just don't know if I could see it happening. Um, I think that the best situation for the fans would be for Jonathan Kane to step aside, Greg Raleigh to just take his place. I'm not trying to discount Jonathan Kane's place in the band, but if Kane and Neil are fighting and they're not getting along, it's going to be... Sh we'll, we'll see it on the stage. You can tell when band members don't like each other. It really affects the chemistry, and it's just not its not very fun to watch. So if they're fighting, <clears throat> then, you know, maybe Jonathan Cain should sit out. Um, I think the more likely scenario is that Raleigh will join as, like, a guest. Um, you know, maybe he'll come in and do some songs or 
something. I don't know. You know, that was what I originally thought before all this legal stuff. But at this point, I don't know. I mean, there's still a chance this tour doesn't even happen. So I still, <clears throat> until a concrete lineup is announced, I would err on the side of caution when it comes to buying tickets. Um, I would not want to rely on Ticketmaster for a refund. You know, you know my feelings on Ticketmaster. Would not want to rely on them for a refund if this tour gets canceled. So I would err on the side of caution still when buying tickets until we have concrete lineup confirmation. Um, so, you know, it's... <clears throat> I think it's interesting that um, Neil is insisting that the band is going to carry on. I think it makes sense for Neil to be in that mindset. He's spent his whole life working on this band. It's his life's work. I get it. He doesn't want to give it up. And why would, Why should he? Um, I think it's very interesting that he's calling for Greg Raleigh to come back. I think it's a great idea. Um, but we'll see if it could materialize. I just don't know if it can. Um, you know, I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Um, what do you think about um, the prospects of this band? And what do you think about Greg Raleigh coming back to Journey 42 years after he left? I mean... I think it's amazing. I think it's a great idea. Um, you know, what kind of songs do you guys want to see in the set list with a Greg Raleigh um, iteration of Journey in 2023? Um, definitely let me know in the comments. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for the incredible support that you have given me on this channel. Uh, the channel has grown quite a bit in the past few days. The videos are doing great. Um, let's keep that trajectory going and continue growing this amazing community. I will see you guys at the next video.